How poetic is that? At the very end, Swain 3 finally comes out for the final fight. He's been sitting there waiting for so long, just taking his time. And when it finally came down to match point, he's like, all right. All right, 400 LP. Just a hundred more for Challenger. I'm gonna play the ad break. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, did you know a large percentage of viewers are not actually subscribed to the channel? Please, if you enjoyed watching, consider subscribing to help me support my girlfriend's crippling boba addiction. If you are watching this, odds are I am pooping, eating, or browsing Reddit off camera. If you could just go ahead and smash that like button, leave an essay in the comments, and subscribe to my channel, that'd be pog as heck. But I wouldn't really see it because, well, I'm pooping, eating, or browsing Reddit, but it'd help us expand further, and I would love you even more. Lulu? Oh! Hmm. 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 Trainers. Is that a tofu rice bowl? No, it's just factor. Just rice and chicken and then asparagus. Hmm. If I get a Swain, game's over. Actually. Hmm. I didn't pre-level in time. I think it's Rebel Heart. It was nerfed, but like, I have a good Rebel start. It might just be Weak Spot. Weak Spot's a lot more flexible. Yeah, I'm done for Weak Spot. Dude, I didn't pre-level in time. I'm so sad. Okay, let me think about this. So, I'm like, I'm kind of set up for the Swain board. The Shimmer Skull Swain. I, I tried to pre-level, but I failed. I like sold my units and I didn't press the e. Like this, this is what happens when you play with only one hand. Like what am I even doing with my other hand? Why, why didn't I just hit the goddamn hotkey? Oh my God. Did you see that Giga Chad Heimer move? He just grenade, grenade one guy, kill the other. Man, yeah, like I could have had a Swain there, man. There was like a 15% chance if I pre-leveled. Hmm. I think I'm down. Lulu is definitely better if I'm gonna play like this. Or, um, Sejuani is definitely better than set two. Or than Kench. Shimmer Skull item is Determined Investor. Okay. If I get an early EDOS, game's over. Have we tried Guild Trainers? Nope. Mm -mm. That guy has an Ecos and Determined Investor. You know what that means, right? That guy is going to get an instant two-star EDOS or something like that. That guy is going to... He's going to get... Wait, where is, where is he? Yeah. He's going to get a free Nikos from this Determined Investor, and then he's going to double Nico like the first good unit he finds. Kind of terrifying. How much you need for Challenger? I think it's 500. Are you guys ready to be super cringe? <laughs> Is Vlad fixed yet? Yep. I feel like people don't play mages that much anymore. Mages have been nerfed by quite a bit and the Vlad bug has been fixed. Okay, I have a chain, I have a glove. So we want like bow for last whisper. Oh, no, you don't need last whisper, we spot. Uh, sword is good, belt is good. Wait, no, belt is not that great. I'm down to just take an IE. We could have taken Cloak for Gargoyle, but I feel like I'm down to just make an IE on Trist or something. All right, guys, it's cringe time. Dies of cringe. Okay. Level six on two five. I do this 
not only to win streak, but because it three times, it, it, it 2.5 X's my chances of high rolling a dragon. I don't have to play Eidos. Eidos is the best one, but if I hit Shiyu, like Lulu still plugs into Shiyu really nicely, which is a kind of a sexy statement. Yes, Lulu plugs into Shiyu really nicely. And then I can put IE Shiyu. You could even play Siphon. I wouldn't really like it, but you could play it. But yeah, so number one build we want is Quirky, but if I get Jades, I'll play it. If we're open to two builds, we've, we've doubled our chances of hitting. Probably should hold a Guardian. Drinks. Ah, uh, it's gonna grief my Econ a bit, but I think I'm down. It's kind of like, who really cares about Econ when you have a five streak? I should beat this guy. He seems pretty weak. Pretty sure I, I win all matchups. Have you tried Rebel Deja? Yes, it's beyond broken, but it requires hitting a Rebel spat. One of like the dumbest backseating comments I get is when I get Rebel Heart, everyone's like, oh my God, go Rebel Deja. You shut the fuck up. That's not how Rebel Heart works. Rebel Heart makes your existing Rebel stronger. Oh God, kill the Elise quickly. Wait, do I lose? Oh my god, I think I lose. Wait, I actually lose. This at least like snowballed on me. Holy sh! I, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I just got destroyed. My icons zero gold level six. I can't believe I lost. It's because the at least like Omega smurfed. Wow, I am depression now. The at least like held the perfect like my six units my seven units all hit different people and then we just like didn't get a single kill instead of like focusing them one by one at least like held aggro then like thresh hook changed aggro then at least got a kill so then she changed aggro again wow that was omega unlucky like 95 percent of the time i play that fight i'll, I'll win it and that's actually so game changing too because i just lost the five streak man I'm so do dead. Oh, I'm actually so f***ed. Okay, um, Giant Slayer Frozen Heart. I kind of want to wait for Gwinsu's, but this is an item that's really good for me right now. Um, yeah, I'm down. Do you think Builder Friend is a good augment? Uh, I think there are ways you could play it, but in general, I think it's pretty bad. Okay, at least I got to end this guy's streak. Hmm, it's just item grab bag. Item grab bag or reroll. I'm pretty sure most items are flexible here. Actually, if I'm forcing cannoneers from this point, I guess I, I wouldn't say I'm forcing it, but... I bet you I can get a really good augment. I bet you I can get a really good augment here. All right, reroll. Something like Cannon Your Heart makes me a lot stronger. Cannon Your Heart makes me a lot stronger. <laughs> oh my god, Anna got an eat us. I even got to show you. Okay, I'm gonna int the Braum. Okay, suddenly this game's like in a great spot. That was like, that was like Giga Brain reroll. Holy sh! I mean, I don't know what my odds are were of hitting, but I know that if you're playing Cannoneer, you're decently likely to get Cannoneer Heart. And Cannoneer Heart is huge because now I don't have to play Jinx late game. I can instead devote that to uh. Actually, you can still play Jinx, but just. For every cannoneer you have, back then it didn't matter, it was like two cannoneer, three cannoneer, it doesn't matter. But now every cannoneer adds a 100% damage ratio. So it's like a pretty big deal for your Corky. Wow, I actually had like a full pivot here. I could play Zaya, Ash, Shiyu. That'd actually be pretty strong. That was like a really crazy level six shop. Okay, let's make sure we int this problem. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna you're gonna go through like a world of torture. I'm gonna int your ass every single round for for money. 
you have now reached 400 flush today. We do it for the paycheck. I need this for eat us too. Oh my god. I almost lost. Oh, Fox News at 10. Thanks for 13 months. Um, I could take like any item here. There's a Corky, but with a bad item. Honestly, like I would take that Corky. You, I would build Zeke's Corky, no cap. Yeah, I would actually build a Zeke's Corky, no cap. Also, I, there's a way you can fix this Corky item later, if it comes down to it. Is it with a remover? Well, I mean, duh. Yes, if you get a remover, you can fix this. But I'm talking about something else. There's a cool trick, and if it comes down to it, I'll show you guys. It's very five head. Okay, I'm going to sell Lulu for Econ here. I feel a little bad doing it, but I'm so broke right now. I'm so broke, surely you understand. I keep having to sell up my units for Econ. Oh, hi, Lulu. <laughs> a solid giggle should do the trick. She just came back. I like, kicked her out, she came back next day. Double Nico Draven's Axis. This guy is gonna pop the hell off. What the heck? Level 7, 40 gold. Wait, that guy's actually gonna be so strong. Wait, I think I lose. This one Diana just deleted my whole team. No way, dude. I keep on losing on the last round. Dude! Ugh. This Diana just like perfectly deleted my assassins, even though I clumped for it. Ah, uh, oh, I'm a little bit less depressed now. Okay, Lulu, this is gonna look really mean, but I promise you, it's important. You'll do great, I promise. You're doing fine. You know what I could do here? Oh, gold mancer staff? Oh, I don't want that. I thought it was Draven's Axis. Oh god. People are getting quite strong. Dude, I'm so tilted. I, I have lost like 30 gold now. I've literally lost like 30 gold because I could not hit uh, my units. I could not hit, or uh, I could not finish my streak. Okay, so. 100% what I'm supposed to do here, I'm supposed to roll down right now. Because I'm gonna get my Determined Investor, Nikos, for free here. So I wanna roll down for my contest- uh, I know Corky's contested, so is Edos. So, uh, like right now I could just Nico the, the Edos, but it's higher value if I roll down and then maybe I naturally hit and I can Nico the Corky. Cannoneer Crown? Earth Scrub Bag? I think it's Cybernetic. Cannoneer Crown? It's like, it's like pretty good, but I think it's Cybernetic. Oh wow. Alright, good roll down. Great roll down. Is Sunfire eat us bad? Uh, I don't know if I'd say it's bad. It's more like I don't need it because I have weak spot. I really want this Warmogs. I want this Warmogs on Eidos.
Okay, so how do I spread out my cybernetic value here? Braum can get this, that's for sure. Maybe it turns into a shroud. Jinx could get the bow, but the bow might also want to be saved for Corky. Why not Sunfire? I literally just said why not Sunfire. There's like a very exact reason for it. And I literally answered it like eight seconds ago. Oh god, this guy has two Nikos and an Edos too. And he's got Corky with Draven's Axes. What the hell? Does he have seven Shimmer Scale? Yeah, he's got seven. Holy sh- Yeah, he's got two Nikos. It's gonna be hard for me to- I think he's gonna try for Corky 3. I should be able to hit Corky 2 because I have a Nikos. Like, eventually I'll hit. Um, down for almost any item here. I'm gonna roll for this Corky before it gets too out of hand. Damn it. Okay. One reason why I did this is because we're guaranteed two gold per round, and I wanted to hit Corky before it was they're all gone. I saw three Corkies. Yeah, I see three Corkies out of the pool so far. Is it ever worth it to Nico Corky and sell the one with the belt? No. I'm going to pop the belt off. There are, there are ways. There are ways to do it, trust me. This Corky will not have a belt late game. Okay, the only thing I have is a health advantage. I'm probably, let's be realistic, I'm probably getting a third here. Oh god, he hit his Corky. It's okay, I can still hit one. Even though it's contested, I can hit one. This assassin guy is re really scaring me. Maybe Cybernetic helps here. Go get him, Trist. You know what? Not bad. I will always lose to this guy. He, he had Think Fast and he hit 3 star Eep. It's okay, some people just high roll. We'll play for third. Surprisingly, the Kane did the most damage. Six scale scorn Kane. Giant Slayer? No, I don't think we need another Giant Slayer. I want like Aura items. I think I like this. All right, let's roll for Corky. Roll a little bit more because we have Sona and Corky to hit. Okay, so here's what we do. Um, diamond hands on Corky. Nico the Corky. It pops the belt off. Warmogs. Pop diamond hands off. Diamond hands back onto you. Bard. Lulu. Okay. Now I, I need to... Uh, Sell the Jinx, put it in Bard, and then give him Gwinsu's. Or I just let Jinx have it. Like, honestly, let's let's see what her damage is. She actually did a lot. Maybe I just keep her. It's like, how, how much do I need Mystic versus how much do I need um, damage? I still have a lot of two stars to hit. Uh, I think I roll. Sorry, Bard. 
Okay, I think now I can stop rolling. Uh, how much AP in this lobby? AP, yes. AP, yes. AP, yes. AD. AD. AP. AD. It's like pretty mixed. Uh, I think I'm down. I think I'm down. I think this is an overall stronger team. You get Bard CC, you get Mystic. And your Corky does a million damage. It's not a very well-balanced team. Like, if my Corky died in a previous fight, my Jinx could actually still carry it. Now, if my Corky dies, I lose everything. But I have HP, so it's actually like kind of fine. It's kind of fine to take this gamble because I have a million HP. I will lose my Corky in a few fights, but it's okay. Yeah, look at those synergies. Okay, so Zizera location is important. I kind of regret putting this on Sona. I want her to have an item, but like Sona is someone who you kind of care about where her position is. It should have gone on Tristana or Bard, who you don't really care. Also, like sometimes I want to solo Sona on the front line. Is that for the front line? It's like, oh, now you can't. Oh god. Wait, I'm surprised this guy's dying. I thought this guy like won the game. I guess the problem with his build is that he needs uh he needs to field two dead units. He has to play Kane and Aatrox, who are like pretty weak. Yeah, he has to play like a few weak units for this. Wait, maybe I win right here. My Lulu's like tanking perfectly. ZZ Rot? Wait, I win. Cutscene! Wow. I was gonna say that this guy was gonna get first place and then he didn't. I thought his econ was gonna be off the charts, but no matter how good your econ is, like if you're playing two dead units, it's I guess it's pretty bad. Interesting. Uh, I like the Mystic Emblem. I like Mystic Emblem. I like uh, Gargoyle. These are all pretty useless. I guess Chalice. Oh. Hodge Tr... I like this easier at Lulu a lot. It's my anti-assassin defense. Okay, I realize I, f I keep forgetting this, but as of this patch, you should put Namzi in the middle. The reason she put Namzi in the middle is because she has anti-heal. So you want her to hit like the main tank. Oh, thank God I hit this Diana. Oh, Sona baby, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to just throw you to the cane. Ah. I might actually win this. All their assassins are locked onto my EDOS. All thanks to Sona's sacrifice. We'll remember you, Sona. I'll give you an S in the chat. One day before the end of the set, I'm gonna try to theory craft out the sexiest but still viable team comp. Oh, fuck, I'm trolling. Oh, I'm trolling. I was supposed to sell Sona. Go nine. I was supposed to sell Sona for Econ. Crap, I missed my Zephyr. Okay, you tried to pull my Corky, but all you did was just pull him into Lulu's ass. You get nothing. Okay, huge Sona ult. I think it's winnable. Wait, this Yasuo is healing for infinity. Oh, he actually aimed his rocket at the correct target. Let's king go! Okay, and Archangels for my Tristana for cybernetic value. <laughs> Archangels Trist. Or I could just put on Sona and say, F you Tristana. You get nothing. Yeah, what do I care about more? I feel like I care about more about the AP on Sona. Oh, give me a remover. There we go. 
OMG, you finally went Cannoneer. I don't know what you're talking about. I've played Cannoneer quite a lot. I think it's really strong, this patch. I probably played it in like a third of all my games. Sheesh! All right, guys, check us out. Level up, and in one roll, a unit that's kind of useful. All right, I've changed my mind. Tristana, I've decided you're worth the cybernetic value. You, now that you've been upgraded, you are now worth it. I'm not gonna lose Chalice value to get a good Zephyr. Oh wait, I actually gotta show you. Actually insane Zephyr. <laughs> Accidental outplay. Man, Diamond Hands Edos is so broken. I guarantee you, like, that's why I'm winning these fights. My Edos gets to live to, like, two more casts. Okay, I mean, there's not much to roll for. I just go for Bard 2, I guess. Oh, Braum 2? Alright, think, Albert. It's that time of the game again. How are you going to find a board? That can beat the Golden Eep. Corky versus the Golden Eep. Ah. Whiffed. It's fine, my Sona still hits the Varus. It's like, a, it's like the tournament arc. We gotta beat the shitters. Varus 3, are you kidding me? Is that the best you have to offer? Corky eats Varus' ass for breakfast. It's not even close. Pew! Cybernetic value. Pew, 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 pew! AP Trist. Cutscene! With every kill, it gets louder. The music gets louder and louder. All right, who's next? Assassins. All right, who am I zephyring? Thanks, Diana. All right, Sona. Once again, I'm very sorry about how I've, I've had to position you. You are an unfortunate sacrifice, but you are the reason we can live long and strong. Build a wall! Nothing gets to this Corky! The Golden Eep shall not pass! Guys, the Golden Eep is doing whatever the hell she wants. She just kicked my ass. You would think a Revel Spat would do it, but no, I actually think it's a Redemption. My, my team is going to be so clumped up against this guy, I'll get infinite, infinite Redemption value. Oh, this is a normal fight. Alright. I know exactly where you're going to swap your Corky to. You're going to move your Corky to to the left. I don't even need to look at your board. He didn't move! Oh, he's facing my ghost. Or I'm facing his ghost. Okay, he's, he's positioning for assassins. Okay, we'll beat his ghost easy. Wait, this guy beat the assassin player. <gasps> you know what that means, right? He's my, he's my only chance. If he can beat the assassin player, I can beat him. I should int this round. I should int this round. I shouldn't kill him. 
Oh my god, this is so interesting. All right. Go f yourself, Sona. I need to get make this a close loss. You have now reached 400 D faces today. I Zephyr is best unit by accident. No, maybe maybe we still lose. I entered my Sona. I need this guy to live so that he can kill the other guy. You're my only hope. Wait. Wait, no. No. What have I done? Oh. Wait. Yes. All according to Kei Kaku. In this game of competitive rock, paper, scissors, I come out on top. Oh my god, I almost sold it by accident. I was trying to get diamond hands, but I almost sold my EDOS. Oh wait, it didn't even hit my Braum. Okay. Holy siphon. Come on. Take him out. I got Diamond Hands Yasuo too. Surely. Surely that's good enough, right? Corky's untouched. Come on. Take down the golden ape. You can do it, Yasuo. Yes. All right. All right, my brother, I've spared you, but I'm sorry now. It's time to go. Let's finish this quickly. I Zephyr his Heimer. All according to plan. You have now reached 2,000 pogs today. All right, do the thing. Do the thing, Corky. What a Bartle! Game-winning hoop! Cutscene! Wow, what music timing too, holy sh... Well, that was awesome. Can't believe we won that. Oh, Challenger is so close. One more first place, and I think we're just about Challenger. Look at this graph. Holy sh! I played Lulu in 14 games. Do I love Lulu? Am I secretly addicted to the Lulussy? Remember when everyone typed Bedge when you took Cybernetic? Yeah! Those people that typed Bedge when I took Cybernetic are also the people who typed Pog, I was here Pog, as if they contributed to my win. No, baby, I, I am the reason we won, because of my quick thinking. Yeah.